What's up, everyone? Welcome to Vino Log number 21. I'm Belle. Travis. And this is the New Year's edition of Wine Wednesday. Okay, so today we are featuring my favorite sparkling. This is kind of a nicer one. Whenever you typically go to a party or you watch The Real Housewives, they always have this champagne with an orange label, and it's called Vouv Clicquot. Vouv. Vouv. It's like 40 to $50 a bottle, and you know, it's a champagne. It's a true champagne, and you taste it, and it's, it's, a, gr it's a good champagne. What the housewives drink every day is what people like you and I drink on special occasions. Okay. But recently, when I was in Beverly Hills, but I actually prefer the taste to Vouv. The way that you discovered and fell in love with this wine is almost like reading in the old books of how a man would court a woman. Actually, no, it was more like it was Cinderella and I was the prince. Like, I had a taste of it. Then I was left with just a picture, and the picture was like this, you know, of it in, a, in some ice. Right, so you run around the world trying to figure like, out what I'm like, what, what is it? this? Because it's an American, it's made in Napa. This is a sparkling of choice served at the White House. Mm -hmm. I think Nixon had it up in there first, trying to get his drink on, and then in different state affairs thereafter, they keep bringing it back. It's the official sparkling of the White House. Since it is a holiday today for us, why don't we bust this bad boy open and celebrate a little? Where's my sword? <laughs> Movement straight up. Oh, <laughs> that's Rude my... AF. Now I think when you go to parties or different events, they'll always fill it up just a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, for toasting or something. Right. But in this house, Belle always likes to go. Nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up. Yeah, the, the bell level. Even a little bit more than that is usually what I do. Well, but, we're just you know, tasting Travis it for a pouring. video. Are you supposed to smell sparkling? I don't know. Let's smell it. You probably listen to sparkling. Because, right? There's more that's happening with sound than with smell. Yeah, it's super effervescent. I think bubbles are actually are a part of it. Maybe not listening, but maybe seeing the bubbles. And I right. think the effervescence is key. And I think this has great effervescence. Cheers. Like, if you're a culture like 500 years ago and all you've had was mugs of like wine beer, whatever that stuff was back then. Mead. Mead. Then someone comes from a different country and they're like, uh, here's what we do. And you're like, what in the magic heavens is yes. this? Yes! It's just a celebratory drink. I think that it's great for the psyche to drink it regularly because you always feel like you're celebrating and it's good for your mind. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Cheers!